Stand by for the latest episode of the Biz News Flash Briefing. The latest news from the world of business and investments. South Africa has agreed to sell a majority stake in the country's grounded national carrier to a local jet leasing company and private equity firm, ridding the government of an entity that has long been a drain on state finances, reports Bloomberg. The consortium, comprised of Johannesburg-based Global Airways, which owns recently launched domestic airline Lyft, and private equity firm Harith General Partners will take a 51% shareholding in South African Airways, Public Enterprises Minister Pravin Gordhan said on Friday. The grouping, named Takatso, will invest as much as 3.5 billion rand over the next three years. Lyft co-founder Gidon Novik and Harith Chief Executive Officer Tsepo Mahlole said in an interview. The sale of SAA comes about six weeks after the airline emerged from lengthy bankruptcy proceedings, having reduced its workforce by almost 80% and cut liabilities. A number of South Africa's top asset managers have teamed together against the complex shareholding structure and lack of management alignment in South Africa's two largest businesses, Naspers and Process. The discount in its share price to its investment in Chinese tech titan Tencent has widened following a number of unsuccessful corporate actions. In an email addressed to Chris Backer and Hendrik de Toy, Naspers non-executive director and chief executive of 91, The investors outlined their concerns, many of which they say have only gotten worse since Van Dyke's appointment. South Africa's government has criticized the United Arab Emirates for failing to cooperate with its requests for assistance in bringing to justice people suspected of being involved in corruption. This is according to Bloomberg, which reports that the two nations have finalized and ratified extradition and mutual legal assistance treaties that may signal a change of course by the UAE authorities. Justice Minister Ronald Lamole said Friday in an online briefing. And that was your Biz News Flash Briefing. I'm Nadia Swart for Biz News. For more on these and the other big stories of the day, visit biznewsradio.com. You've been listening to the Biz News Flash Briefing, bringing you the latest news from the world of business and investments. Subscribe to Biz News Radio on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, or by visiting biznews.com.